Surely there are a lot of sore necks tonight. Nothing a little heating pad won't cure, though. That little bit of pain was well worth the explosion of color over the skies off Montrose Beach. Ah, uh -huh. CBS 2's Jim Williams shows us how thousands winged it for Mayor Daly's annual Kids and Kites Fest. Oh, they made it look so easy. Thousands of adults and children at Mayor Daly's seventh annual Kids and Kites Festival. They perfected the art of launching their kite and keeping it in the sky. What is the secret? buying an easy-to-use kite. <laughs> he may have a point. Selecting the right kite is important. The easiest kite's going to be a delta shape. And there's a lot of them out here. Parafoils are second easiest. That's a, looks like a parachute. Still, you need a lot of help from something no human can control. For kite flyers like pitchers at Wrigley Field, it's all about the wind. And this was a good day. And some places in the Chicago area are windier than others. Montrose Harbor, 4400 north on the lake, is just about perfect. Here at Montrose, though, it's a natural location for kite flying. People fly here all year long, actually. It's great winds off the lake, so it's a wonderful day. But not so wonderful for people with dragon kites. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time. <laughs> Kira Kirker and her husband tried and tried. This is the kite that doesn't want to fly. <laughs> but they could not catch a break. I've got wind. Yes. I've got a kite, and yes. it's not flying. No. Eventually, the Kirkus gave up and went home, but we sought professional advice for others here. Dave Savelle of the store Chicago Kite helped this family. And you're going to just want to coax it a little bit and walk back and forward. Easier said than done, but off it went, an ancient hobby creating modern family fun in Chicago. Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Coaxes, <laughs> walk back, and what was the third thing? In my view, it would be run. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you missed today's extravaganza, the next one is planned for October at the Museum of Science and Industry. And i got to tell you, I, I was driving up uh, Lakeshore Drive today, and I saw all these kites in the air. I didn't know this event was going on, and I thought, just the thing to burn off a little energy for the little whirling dervish and tennis shoes today. <laughs> so maybe next week. Uh, That's not indeed. a bad idea. Not indeed. A bad idea. And, you know, we had a cold front come through this morning, and then we had that west and south.